Hey all, Avros here, back with the challenge quest as part of the Divine Summon Alexander event that's currently ongoing. This fight, strangely enough, thanks to the Chi strategy for the Lufania side, is actually much harder overall due to the mechanics Alexander has going for him in this fight. He is immune to defense down debuffs and is weak to dark element. He also can't be launched, delayed, including via Bravery Break, or have his turns deleted. Including this, if he fills his recast bar, he will erect a luminous barrier. This will remove all debuffs, including framed, and raise his max bravery and reduce the chance he can get inflicted with debuffs. This will also set him to 99,999 bravery. To remove the barriers, which he will have three, you need to break Alexander, and while this is easier early in in the fight, he will, as the fight progresses, gain more defense, including at 49% HP, a buff that makes him take reduced damage from anything he isn't elementally weak to. So this makes the last half of the fight much harder, as if you don't break the barriers, he attacks you with the very lethal Divine Judgment Divine Plus attack, which ignores any bravery and HP damage reducing effects that you can possibly have, and is also a guaranteed hit, so you can't rely on dodging this attack to get past it. So for this fight, I decided to bring along Golbez, as he's basically a given going into this fight. This is where his burst weapon and LD have come out. He does dark damage, he does a lot of damage via that, he has a lot of hits on his attacks to shave bravery and get those barriers down, and his dark enchant buff he has as well will allow you to take really good advantage of this fight. I found via sort of doing this fight in the summon board, in the World of Illusions and everything like that, that Hope is the best bet you have as a healer for this fight, as well as preventing some damage from his recasts that will still occur with the weakened versions of the barriers have been broken. Hope really does help out with this fight a lot, and I found him to be the best second unit going into this one, as he will give you that incident and healing that you do need. And lastly, from testing, I found that despite Vivi also having his LD if you do have it for this fight, he's not as useful as I found Shadow to be. So Shadow is really great in a third slot for this fight, as he reliably has a lot of damage for breaking shields, multiple hits via his uh, follow-up attacks with Interceptor, and his high turn rate as well via his attacks allow him to get more attacks in before Alexander to make sure those bravery shields are broken when he raises those barriers when his recast bar is full. That said, uh, one thing I don't have that would have made this fight a lot easier from my understanding of it and following up on some research I was doing is Golbez's BT. His uh, BT effect stops the enemies from gaining bravery at all, so if you can make it so that when the barriers go up from Alexander he can't gain any bravery, well then a zero bravery shield is a hell of a lot easier to break than any of the three that he has up there starting at the, the 99,999, I think the second one is 69,999 and the third one is 49,999, so big shields you need to get through in very limited turns. When you do break them it does appear that Alexander will delay himself a couple of turns so that will give you more time to break them, but still a tricky thing to get around there in this fight. With that all covered though, if you have anything else you'd like to discuss, please put it down in the comments below. Not too much more I have to say about this fight, that basically covers off everything you need to know. Just watch out for the recast, make sure the barrier is broken, and heal yourself up whenever you need to. Best again to bring hope for that. So thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of the video. Inta! 
ラセプター
山の道を行こう。